Hey guys, Thomas this is the Genie here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review the movie Ready or Not. So, this movie follows a young woman named Grace who is getting married, and on her wedding day she does indeed get the perfect wedding, or so she thinks. It is accordance to both Alex and Daniel, two brothers who, in the very intro, we see uh, take part in a very brutalistic game where, uh, game, in quotes, where they uh, help, or at least uh, one of the two brothers, I, I believe it was um, Daniel who helped participate in the game by killing off the husband of one of the characters. So, it turns out that several years later, after that one game, that uh, they are ready to play yet again, and it is up to Grace here to pick which game they are going to play, and wouldn't you know it, the, she happened to get the one card uh, that prompts that specific game that is uh, hide and seek, but it involves killing the person that is hiding. So, she does so initially, she thinks that she's participating enough, well enough, uh, her husband Alex is nothing, want nothing to do with it, and um, Daniel's sort of on the fence, and the rest of the family is all on board, and some other uh, people like sort of in the family that were just knowing or partially knowing to it. Um, even still, uh, she gets bored eventually of hiding. She thinks, ah, this is getting kind of stupid, I'll just uh, make my way out. Uh, lo and behold, she bumps into her husband, Alex, who hides her away as the, uh, remaining family members, uh, accidentally kill one of their maids, and thus prompting almost a, uh, sudden reaction from, uh, Grace as Alex, uh, hushes her enough for them to not instantly get caught. So they proceed to, uh, go off and hide, try to hide the body while they're, now she's well enough to know that things are going crazy, she wants nothing to do with it, and Alex wants to, at the time, help her out. So he tells her what to do, and uh, throughout she prompts her way to where he tells her to, uh, and doesn't really give her much instruction on to where to go exactly. So she ends up running right into the family and then uh, having to flee from them some more. Uh, from there, we see that uh, Daniel's still struggling to like choose or whatever. Uh, we have moments where uh, Grace is almost caught, but then through various circumstances, either uh, Daniel helps her out, or uh, Alex has her back in the uh, through the camera room, um, and the family is just sort of their uh, laziness, I guess, having having not participating in that many of events like this. Uh, they end up doing more harm to their own team or family or workers, I, I guess I'll say, than you know, M or Grace does. So, uh, Grace makes, uh, eventually, after the power, uh, you know, the guy uh, works on the power Alex does, uh, she makes her way outside, uh, they get, they all get, like, one guy to go hunting for her, and then, like, the, he manages to find her, even though she ran in the forest after getting, like, abandoned by a car. So, like, she gets, like, uh, stumbled and caught again. Brought back in, uh, Daniel coming in to the rescue with the whole, th he found time to drink, drunk the drinks, and, uh, th somehow there was enough time for that, and there was also teleporting involved of, like, him getting outside, and the father getting outside when they were inside, and th there were a few moments of, like, oops, kind of forgot where your characters were, movie, oh well, uh, you know. Uh, so, uh, Grace escapes yet again, uh, makes her way to this, like, barn-like area where she bumps into this kid, the kid tries to offer, she, go, like, she gets shot in the hand, I believe, 
uh, knocked down into the where the bodies of the previous night was were stored. Uh, so uh, she climbs out eventually on her own uh, through a little bit more pain, um, and then uh, she's getting less and less. Uh, She's getting more and more invested in protecting herself, so she makes her way out again. Uh, she bumps into one of the women that um, Daniel's mother, I believe it was, who she kept saying throughout the movie how, like, oh, she was her favorite or whatever, or something like that. Uh, she, uh, Grace beats her down, kills her, in fact. Um, and then Daniel comes in on the scene. And that's kind of what flips him back into like, oh, oh no. Uh, and then you also have Alex doing a bizarre, an even more bizarre flip into, oh, she's here. Um, so uh, the two of them, I guess, just suddenly decide that they're both going to be like, whoops, they're on the family side. That doesn't matter, though, as... Um, as they are getting ready to kill her for like the third time as they have her pinned down she manages to escape yet again for like I think this is like the third time they've captured her um, and thus they run out of time as they have been making uh, or at least the father character in the movie has been making throughout the movie like in the I want to say mid to like the early middle part to like to th throughout the movie from that point forward saying being and being insistent that if they don't accomplish this that something bad will happen to their family that something else bad happened because they made a deal with some guy um which we just later learn out it ends up just being the devil uh so they according to them they ran out of time and there's a certain amount of time where they think they're suddenly safe uh grace's you know, just there in the morning, and the whole family's there, sort of looking at themselves, thinking, huh, this, so we're not really cursed, and then, uh, one of them decides that she still wants to kill, um, Grace, that woman with the X on the poster there, but then she suddenly blows up, all up in her face, and then from there, the various other characters go, oh, it really was real, poof, and they all explode, and <laughs> And I kid you not, including in those explosion were one to who I, some woman and two kids just poof while well, they got off off screen. So I guess that's fine. I guess murdering kids because they were one of them decided to play the game. I guess <laughs> whoops. Um, so the whole family except. Grace makes it out alive, uh, and the movie ends with her, like, saying, In-laws! And that's, uh, ready or not. Um, I thought the beginning setup was a little bit interesting, of like, oh, uh, you know, that we have this game, and yada yada yada. Though I think her chances, I, 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 the whole, like, oh, it happened to be that one card... And on top of the fact that I think that, you know, the whole comic, comical aspect of this movie is present, but what I think needed to be done to help this movie bolster it a bit higher is a bit of better writing uh, in terms of character. I do feel like... Um, the way to do this with such a ridiculous premise, with, su with such an over-the-top premise of, you know, these family members that are willing to kill, is that you kind of have to over-accentuate them. And it feels like they kind of get close-ish um, without ever really hitting that mark throughout the movie and that's sort of the biggest downfall of this movie on top of the few uh conveniences the movie has to make along the way to not only make sure that grace is safe but to keep the tension on grace of like oh she could have just escaped but we need to get her back because she need 
you know, she needs to be back at the house for this moment to happen or whatever. Uh, things like that uh, definitely could have tightened that up as well uh, on top of the, uh, the character development of these uh, crazy family members. You know, if, if you're going to do the, a movie like this again, I do think that you need to over-exaggerate a little bit of the characteristics. Um, other than that, I, I would probably give this movie a 5 out of 10. I feel like, again, in premise and sort of the setup um, was... F oh, I think the premise was very, very strong, and I feel like everything else was a little bit mushy to get there. So that's my review of Ready or Not. And if you enjoyed this review, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also make sure to check out those links in the description. One will head you over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. And until next time, everyone, bye bye